Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna to show you a video on how to change your your alternator, which is gonna be down there on a Dodge Dart, and it's gonna be the same thing for a Chrysler 200 in the same year. All right, so from 2015 Chrysler 200 up, it's gonna be the same thing with a 2.4, and it's gonna be the same thing for all the Dart with the 2.4. All right, so first thing first. You want to come over here and disconnect the negative cable from your battery or battery, wherever you're from. All right? And after that, you want to subscribe to the channel. You want to help me help you so I can help post and still post. So, so I can stay motivated to post videos like this. Remove this. Um, that um airbags so we'll get remove a 10 millimeter right here get your flathead screwdriver and remove that right here too so you want to get this turn it counterclockwise and down here I'm gonna put it in here twist it open like that all right so we're gonna be taking out the um the air filter Box. So pull up on it, it should come loose, push back on this, and pull on that, over here, pull on that, and that gives you access down here to get to the belt tension, alright? Alright guys, so you want to make sure you get a pattern of the belt, so you, even if it's to dry it on a piece of paper. So you can remember the pattern while putting it it's time to put it back together all right so you want to get this um 16 millimeter right here for the tensioner to release the tension off the <laughs> to release the tensioner off the uh, um to remove the belt from the alternator all right so i'm gonna get some 16 millimeter right here and push back on it Off right here. So it's giving me some trouble to come over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove it from the idle pull down below. All right, since so that's it smooth. Right. So as you can see down there, that's the pulley right there, the idle pulley that I remove it from. Now I have enough room to get that over. All right. Here you can come and squeeze both sides at this right here. Get this unplug right here. And you see this right here that I'm squeezing? There's another one on the other side you gotta squeeze also and wrap. And it will come off like that, alright? And that right there should be 13 millimeter. Make sure the battery cable is off. So Let's get to that. So it's gonna be 13 millimeter. That's what I'm trying to get right here. Okay. My car kinda hot, but try to do it when, when it's cold, all right? Get real hot. All right, so and down below that is the 
plug down there. There's like a red clip on it. Oh. As you can see, the, the plug is right here. So there's a red clip on it. So I gotta pull that back and then. what I was telling you could this move back so you move forward and backward alright so you need to push it back and then squeeze this right here squeeze right here and then pull back on it alright so now only thing is holding the the hot here is only these 13 millimeter that goes right here one right here one should be underneath the um two should be underneath the The alternator was charging 7, um, 11 volts and sometimes 10. And we all know that for the battery. And, um, it's supposed to be like 13.5 or 14. take out the alternator I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so yeah you gotta use this you gotta put an extension to take out the one at the front of the alternator they, they are all the same size this alternator right here come up with it like that so you have these two one two you have this one up here all right and that's what all the alternator in so I'm going to get a new alternator and put it in Alright, so I got the new alternator. Take this off. I'm gonna take this off right here. See what else. Sorry. Second one. Get the third one around here. All right, so I got all three. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up. All right. So everything is all nice and tight. So now it's time to plug in the um the alternator right here. Gotta find the hole first. Plug it in. Push the red clip in at the same time. I'm doing so. Get this over here. They're 13 millimeter right here.
tighten that up and don't let me tighten it on the camera please do not over tighten this because you guys might break it if you tighten it too much to set back your um your it's time to set back your um your belt and I know it won't be easy alright camera fall over so make sure Everything clipped in. I don't know if it was recording, so make sure you put this one on last. All right. The same pulley. And then you want to get your air filter housing. Put it on. Double check your work. Make sure everything is all good. up right here So, see, it's always good to double check your work. Lock this into place right there. Alright, so after you double check your work, you want to come and crank the car up. Before you crank the car up, you want to turn on the ignition for a little bit. Oh, they don't want to crank it, but it's okay. The ignition on for a little bit, and then go ahead and crank it. You can see the battery life is off, as you can see. No check engine light, no none of that's the low tire light. But everything else is good, alright? I'm gonna check the voltage to make sure it's charging properly. Alright, so so that's perfect right here. 14.3, 14.2. So it's in around 14 and that's good guys. Thank you guys for your love and support. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, help me help you. Peace out, see you next time.